Hello everybody, this is Emeth, and welcome back to more uh, the, Legends of, the, the Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Uh, in today's episode, uh, we are actually going to go for the next dungeon. Um, so, um, we are going to go to three locations. One is directly south of here. Uh, so we're going to go there right away. Uh, and we can use the Swift Sail. Which is immense, immense, I tell you. Uh, because you can go so fast. Um, we have the three pearls uh, that we need. Um, and the three pearls need to be placed on these things over here. Uh, these little things here. These little statues. Um, I don't know which one we're face, uh, um, placing first. Uh, wandering traveler who seeks the guideposts of the good goddesses. Place the pearl you hold here. So that is the fire one. So uh, that's... Dings pearl. Two more pearls. Uh, these locations... Uh, all these islands um, are actually. I guess we'll go this way. Um, for actually, we can talk to these guys. I think well, we have time. Um, I mean, we have time if we don't just cruise right past them. Hello. Uh, yeah. I mean, not right now, but. Only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves. I suppose that's true. <laughs> the King of Red Lions doesn't seem to be very amused by this. Alright, so I think he will give us a treasure shark. Um, yep, so. I can't show you this on the Wii gamepad. I can't show you this. Uh, I might have been able to use it um, or show you too if I was using a uh, pro controller, but I'm not, so there's that. Anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and continue on our way to the next thing. Basically, the, um, the islands that we are going to are actually surrounding uh, another square on the map that will be important once we uh, place all these pearls. Um, actually, let's go ahead and get this one. This treasure. It's probably nothing special, but we're a little bit short on cash, I guess. Um, so, let's pick it up. Well, that's 50 rupees, so that's good. Uh, so let's continue down to where we have to be. Oh yeah, you can take damage from them if you run into them. You can even be knocked out if you, do, if you hit them straight on. Um, Alright. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the submarine, because we haven't gone into submarine yet. Um, so I might as well. I don't think this is... Oh, it is open. Alright. We'll just go in then. Uh, I don't know, I have time. I have time. It's fine. I've only been recording for four minutes. It's fine. Wow, that was an amazing hit. I don't think that... I think more people will show up, actually. Yep, another one is here. They're really easy to care though if you if you know what you're doing. Oh what the hell? What did that not was it him? Do have to kill these things too as well? Mm, maybe, maybe not. I don't think so though. Yeah, the boomerang can be useful against these guys, because you know you can uh, stun them. 
And also, I should probably sh I should probably show this off. If you use the grappling hook on these, you can actually grab things from them like that. Uh, no. There we go. I should have probably done that earlier, but whatever. We'll get we'll get what is in the treasure chest. We'll also get what's in this one, which actually has one of those. What drops the um, joy pendants? I think moblins do, so I might collect some of them at uh, this area because uh, they're on the rafts around the submarine here. And we get a piece of heart, and that is the fourth one, so we get another heart. So I have to remember that I went in here. Um, so, yeah. Whatever. Um, let's just get out of here. Um, okay, so there's one on the rafter over here. Let's go and see if actually they drop the things I want. Uh, yep. So let me just collect some of them, actually. If it doesn't take too long, please. Alright. I can swim there, there's no, no biggie. Still alive? I don't care. I don't need to kill him. <laughs> All I need to do is get their joy pendant. Bye bye. So let's go back to the King Red Lines and get to our destination because it's not that I'm running late, I just want to get it done. At least we did something. Um, side, I mean, yeah, side questy today. A little bit at least. Uh, we have to go this way. Um, should be around here somewhere. Oh yeah, it's, it's the island right over here because it's surrounded by those fucking, uh, whatever they're called, pea hats or whatever. I can't remember their name actually. I think they're like giant pea hats or whatever, but this is coming straight for me. I'm not a huge fan of this um, place. I'll tell you so much! Because I don't like those guys. You can kill them with boomerang and whatnot if you really want to. Especially arrows, which we'll pick up soon. Yeah, he wants the um, the blue one. I don't know. I think it always rains on these islands uh, before whatever happens happens in well soon. So next is this. Oh, okay, he hit me, but that's fine. Let's see what this actually says. Um. Oh, actually, all right. Ugh. Really? Uh, no. Oh, that's actually the. Uh. Never mind. Um, the one I picked up um, says, Bouncer said I'm not getting in. It tripping on Dingle Juice. On Tingle Juice. And he has a picture of uh, one of the, uh, the pirates from uh, Windfall Island. One of the people that stands by the pier, basically. That's fun, but um, let's. Um... Oh, actually, we're going pretty much in the wrong direction. Like not only in the opposite direction of uh, where we have to be, but this way. It's fine. Yeah, it's over here. And I think is that Beetle? No, that's one of these uh, treasure hunters again. Do they give me a map again? I wonder. Hello. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. Get it. Okay, so once they've given you um, a treasure shard, uh, one of them, one of those treasure, sh those hunters, um, you can't talk to them anymore. But anyway, here's the last one. So let's go ahead and place it. And as you can imagine, something may happen. This is actually pretty interesting because, as you can see, it forms a triangle. Is the Triforce, and from it, a tower race arises from the Z. Comic relief. So here's our next dungeon, actually. That which you must obtain now lies before you. It's a nice saying, isn't it? You must rise above the trial of the gods. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna go straight in. Um, because nothing better to do. 